they got me back to the room and I got to see my daughter and hold my daughter for the first time. And my OB came in at that point and my mother looked at her and said, how close did we just get? And my doctor started crying. My name is Katie Prescott, and I am an attorney here in Jonesboro. I represent Arkansas State University System. I was born and raised here in Jonesboro, lifelong resident of Jonesboro, Arkansas. Um, my husband and I met when we were 17, and so he was my high school sweetheart. We married when we were 20 because we thought we were grown up enough to do that, and now we're old enough to know we were babies. He knew education was important to me. He knew I wanted to go to law school. That was something I had talked about wanting to do since I was eight. And we wanted to have kids after I had finished my education. I got pregnant with my daughter. Uh, I was four weeks out from my delivery date. I had been in court all day, two days back to back. Went to lunch with my mom one day. We were sitting there eating and I looked at her and I said, I just don't feel right. And so I went to pre-admission testing and the lady came out and was very nice and she took my blood pressure on my left arm. And she read it and she stood there for a minute and she walked around and she took my blood pressure on my right arm. My mother came over and the lady looked at her and said, you need to take her to her OBGYN right now. These are stroke level blood pressures. The doctor came in and she said, well, your blood pressure's a little high and your platelet count's a little off and your level function is not quite where it should be. And I think we need to just go ahead and have the baby now. Um, they had the baby and I heard her cry, which made me cry. And they took her immediately to the room. And I didn't realize anything was really wrong until they opened the operating room doors and my whole family who had been sitting there waiting for me with the cameras and everything, my cousin Beth has the camera up and when I came out, I saw her just lower the camera. And then the looks on all of their faces was not, it was just shock. And my doctor started crying and she said, we got really close. But going from, I think we need to have this baby right now, to your doctor crying in your room going, when I said it, I think we need to go ahead and have this baby, what I meant was, we have to have this baby right now or you're gonna die, and she's gonna die. Thank you. I have a beautiful family. I have more friends than anyone should ever have. I have had a very, very wonderful life. And most of it, <laughs> most of the happiest moments of my life have been in the last nine years. And I wouldn't have had any of that if it weren't for you. Thank you.